Hi guys, hello, my name is Luke Birch, I'm a third year film and television student at the University of Lincoln and today I'm going to be telling you all about moving away from home and moving in to Lincoln. I remember the summer before I moved into university, I was so, so excited to do, you know, the Ikea shop, I was planning my room, I had like blueprints for my student accommodation, I was so excited to finally have a place of my own to, you know, dress it up, decorate it exactly how I wanted to. I was just so excited about Lincoln because I had such a good feeling about it from the open did. Like, I really pictured myself thriving at Lincoln. I was ready for uni for months. I was like, bring it on. I'm ready. Casting my mind back to move-in day, I remember, you know, beep beep, we were in the car, leaving the suburbs of London in Essex and heading up north towards Lincolnshire. And I was just trembling with a little bit of nerves, but mainly excitement. Like, I was so ready to just get in there, get, you know, started in this whole new chapter of my life, because it is such a big day. There's me in the back seat, you know, fighting off my luggage that's pouring on me when we go round and round about. Then in the distance, I see the cathedral. And then we draw closer and I see, boom, the big University of Lincoln sign. And then my heart starts racing and I'm like, wow. This is it, you know, there's no going back now. This is it. Though in reality, move-in day couldn't have been any smoother and that really helped with the nerves. I was given a particular time slot for when I could move into my accommodation. Um, we got there right on time. There were tons of uni staff there um, in high-vis jackets or just walking around directing everyone where to go. It was like a well-oiled machine. There was no, you know, chaos. There was no confusion. It was just like, okay, get there on time and you move in. It was perfect. As I got out of the car, you know, I'm super nervous, but I was greeted by six or seven of the most amazing SU helpers, which are student volunteers, and they literally all introduced themselves. They really put me at ease. They were getting to know me already. And still, you know, whilst they were grabbing a bag, grabbing a suitcase, grabbing a box, and all moving me upstairs. Like, I, I forgot I was even moving in. It felt like I was already here, and I was talking to friends that I'd known for a couple of months. I then collected my key card from the reception, which was, again, super easy. And boom, before I knew it, I was in this empty room that was now going to be my home for the next year. Like so many people, before they moved into university, I had already formed a group chat on Facebook with some of my flatmates, so I already knew a little bit about them, you know, I knew their names, their regions, where they came from. You know, you don't have to MI6 your flatmates and find every piece of information out about them, but it's just good, I think, to know a little bit about them, because already you can strike up conversations, you know, if someone's, you know, from the north and you're from the south, or vice versa, you can already, that's the first thing you can just introduce, so... The North, eh? You know, and boom, it just gets going from there. You can have a great conversation with people. The laughter starts flowing. Then later that night, the rest of my flatmates, we all came out. We sat on the sofas and we just had a great chat, you know, getting to know each other, everyone telling their stories, like what brought them to Lincoln. A piece of advice that I would give to new students is to bring an icebreaker on move-in day, be that a box of chocolates, a tin of biscuits, just something that you can offer other people. Then take the leap, go knocking on people's doors and offering out food. I guarantee if I've learned anything from my university experience, it's that no student will ever turn down free food. Even if perhaps you're someone who is normally a bit more shy or you're just not really, you know, the type of person to go out introducing yourself, you just have to remember that everyone is in the same boat. Everyone will be trying to make their best first impression, but that's completely normal. All you can do is put yourself out there and just be yourself because that's all you can be. And just remember as well, you don't have to become best friends with everyone in your apartment or who you meet. Naturally, over time, you'll form very close bonds with some people and just maintain good relationships with other people as well. And a top tip to remember on moving day as well is that some of your closest bonds may actually come from your course mates who you're yet to meet for you know one or two days before your introductory lecture because you already have that common interest that heart with your degree speciality and of course there are a ton of opportunities to make new friends by joining societies which we'll learn all about at freshers fair during freshers week i was so lucky with my course mates and my flatmates because i was able to form best friendships if you like with both of them i found common interest with everyone and even people that i just met out and about I feel like everyone was willing to kind of make friends, get to know new people, and just, you know, socialise. If you would have told me on moving day, those two girls that I just met, Georgia and Amy, you know, my flat would become lifelong friends that we would then travel the world together throughout our university experience, I would have laughed you out of Lincoln. But really, those friendships can last a lifetime, and those people can often be those that you meet on the first day. The whole university experience I'll never forget, but especially first year, because that was just absolutely insane.
saying I loved it so much. Now, of course, a big thing that some people may be worried about or may experience is homesickness, a missing family. And that's completely normal. You know, it's natural when you move into a new environment in life that you do feel homesick or you miss home. But the good news is there are loads of support services like the wellbeing team on campus that can give you extra guidance, help and support and just loads of advice and make sure that you know you are not alone. No one is alone on the campus. No one is left behind at Lincoln. Everyone is there for one another. The campus itself really is a community and there are so many ways to network and befriend so many people across Lincoln. Above all, the best piece of advice that I can give to new students coming into university is to enter the experience with an open mind and a willingness to embrace new opportunities and new experiences. Try your absolute best to step out of your comfort zone. You know, uni is that one chance in life to really find out so much about yourself and so much about where you want to go in life, what you will do, because nine times out of 10, you'll be shaped by your experience at university. Be willing to reach out to people, strike up conversations where you might have just stayed silent before, and above all, have fun. Lincoln really is a fantastic place to study. It's an amazing university, some amazing lecturers there as well. And it's just a great place to grow as an individual and learn so much about life, yourself, and knowledge. Remember, on move-in day, nerves are normal, but in the end, the chances are Lincoln will soon feel like home. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to someone at the University of Lincoln. All of the University of Lincoln's contact details can be found on the University of Lincoln website and on social media pages. Have a great summer and we'll see you in September.